Hey everybody and welcome back to Drew's Vids and I bought an anime figure from Shumi Nation. That's right folks, we're back with another video installment of the series where I buy anime figures from online websites and this one comes from Shumi Nation or Shumi Toys and Gifts. The website link will be down in the description below, so be sure to check them out if any of this interests you. So just going through their website there, pretty easy to navigate, real easy to make an account and search for the things that you want to pick via franchise or type of figure or anything like that. So they made it real easy for you to find the items that you want to buy. And they also have an app on the Google Play Store. I believe it's on the Apple Store as well. I have Android, so it's on the Google Play Store, but if you can confirm that it's on the Apple Store, just let us know down in the comments below. It'd be much appreciated. The app is also similarly easy to find things and add them to your cart. And Shumi also has what they call a Shumi Tracker, which is kind of like a wish list. So you add things to that and then you can add them to your cart from there and purchase them that way. So that way you can have a list of a bunch of items that you want to pick up eventually and just add them to your cart when you're ready to purchase. Don't wait too long because you never know if something's going to sell out or not. So just keep that in mind. But yeah, definitely a good website, definitely a good app and real easy to use. So I was looking at a bunch of figures that I was wanting to pick up. I ended up picking one up here and the prices I found uh, against several figures are priced competitively throughout you know other websites that you see. And this figure just happens to be an Android and this one was priced at $50 which is a price that you typically see from Android so yeah not a bad price at all and I did notice that some of their stock is actually really good because sometimes you can't find an Android on other sites or something like that and I found that Shumi does have a few up there that I wasn't able to find on other sites or they may have been sold out and this was actually one of them. But the biggest issue I ran into was when I went to go check out the shipping and handling charges. So the shipping charges were quite expensive to be honest with you. There's a workaround for it and I'll let you know that in just a second. But the shipping prices for this was $9 and some change. So you know you're looking at a $50 figure go up to almost 60 bucks just because of shipping which you know is kind of pricey as far as shipping goes in my opinion that's just me but you know i understand it is you know a smaller shop and you know they got to cover their costs and whatnot but at the same time there is a workaround like i said there's no secret that shumi is actually affiliated with a bunch of other youtubers i'm not affiliated with them so just a quick disclaimer there but there is a bunch of 10 percent off coupons that you could get via other youtubers out there that collect funko pops etc so with that being said the 10 percent off actually cut about five dollars off of this ended up being fifty four dollars shipped total so figure yourself fifty bucks plus four dollars shipping not a bad deal at all in my opinion as long as you use one of those discount codes so be sure to do that if you guys are shopping for this and you notice that the shipping price is a little high other than that everything was all good so we're gonna go ahead and get into this box and see how their shipping was and yeah we'll take a look at the figure real quick i'm not gonna unbox it here we'll do a review video later on of it i'm sorry i gotta interrupt real quick because i forgot to mention the shipping speed there so the shipping speed it took about four days to get here after they confirmed the order and they confirmed the order the same day and actually shipped the next day after the order was confirmed so keep that in mind if you guys are shopping on shumi that their shipping speeds are pretty good and this nendroid in particular i actually waited on and i think i waited on a little too long so she started selling out everywhere and I ended up picking her up off of Shumi because they still had her in stock. So I was pretty happy with that. I already cut the tape, but you can see here that they have a nice branded tape that says fragile on the tape as well. So that's good. And like I talked about in my previous video where I bought from Big Bad Toy Store, you know, some people don't like the fragile on there, but I don't mind it either way. I haven't had an issue with it. So let's go ahead and take a look at how their shipping was. So. Paid four dollars for the shipping, and it looks like it's just the Nendroid in here. So you just get a box with a Nendroid. They threw Fragile on the label there on their tape, and no other protection. So I'm guessing that's just my order form left in there, which that is my order form, but offers no protection at all. So paid four dollars for shipping on this, and there's no bubble wrap or anything like that. If you remember the Big Bad Toy Store, we got a ton of bubble wrap for the $4 shipping. So thankfully, Shumi does use a pretty decent cardboard box and this didn't get damaged on the way. So that's nice, but I can't say for certain if you order something from them, if it's gonna get damaged just because there was no protection as far as the actual Nendroid goes. It was just thrown in the box there. So keep that in mind if you guys are shopping on Shumi. But yeah, the figure we got here is Riza Hawkeye from Full Metal Alchemist and you guys know I'm a fan of Full Metal Alchemist here. 
so that is pretty dope you know i never should have waited on picking her up and you guys will see actually another full metal alchemist figure in a video coming real soon reza hawkeye is a fantastic character in full metal alchemist she's the one that kind of keeps roy mustang grounded and he definitely needs that but yeah definitely an awesome ninja i can't wait to do a review on this one so yeah guys quick recap here of what happened with shumi toys so bought the nendroid it was well priced but the shipping was kind of killer used the discount code to chop that down a little bit which made it much more reasonable but the shipping there was no protection so yeah there's a lot of things going on there as far as the nendroids go i know they deal a lot with funko pops and they tend to send out those really well protected so maybe if they saw this video or something like that maybe they'll be able to start doing the same with the nendroids but i'm nobody special so yeah hopefully that's the thing and just a disclaimer here i'm not affiliated with any of these websites that i'm doing these reviews on i'm just buying figures these are all my own experiences guys and you know i'm using my own money here shipping it to my real address so that way they don't know it's going to a youtuber so yeah just keep that in mind if you guys do watch these videos that these are all my own experiences and using my own money everything like that so nobody's sending me anything and nobody's swaying my opinion either way as far as their products go and their shipping goes and their prices go oh and one last thing there i know a lot of people are wondering if i will be going back to shumi to purchase something after this video and seeing that there was a lack of protection in the box and all that and you know that will be something to decide later on in the future for myself. It'd be nice to see if Shumi reached out to me or if I reach out to them to see if they're going to improve their packaging any for the Nendroids and other figures. And if they do, then I probably will be back. So yeah, hopefully that works out in the end, but to be determined. So yeah, guys, let me know down in the comments below how you feel about the shipping, how the lack of protection was, if you guys think that it should be changed or price wise anything like that if you guys have any kind of experience with shumi let me know in the comments and yeah that's gonna wrap it up for this video guys if you liked it give it a thumbs up if you want some more content hit that subscribe button and i'll see you on the next video Catch me.